I had, when I had taken an interest in training, I didn't want to do just like regular lifting. I was like, I want to do weird stuff. I want to lift the most like obscure stuff. And I had seen like World's Strongest Man. Um, and I wanted to do that type of stuff as my training because I didn't know that I could compete in it. So I had, and I was like on this personal quest for like a year. I was like figuring out, like I learned how to make stones so I could make my own stones. And I was like planning this trip to go to the woods so I could find a log and stuff like that. Like it sounds, it does sound crazy. Um, and then I was, so I was researching on the internet something about like stone loading to try and figure it out. And I saw a competition video of, of some woman loading stones like in a contest and I was like, oh shit, like they have a contest for this and they have a women's class, like I'm gonna do that. So that was it. like as soon as I just went to figure out how I could do it and I was in. So that was a big deal. Um, and it's, I think that was a little bit of a funny situation too because this was the first time that they had women's professional strongman at the Arnold. Um, so the women have been competing at the Arnold in the amateur championship for a few years. Um, but the big draw of the Arnold is the, is the Arnold Strongman Championship. Like that's what everyone knows about the Arnold, right? Even when I tell, like you tell people that you're going and they don't know anything about strength sports. They're like, oh, that's where they go and they like lift the fridges and stuff like that. And you're like, yeah, that. Um, but there's always been an asterisk where it's always like, yes, that, but I'm not doing that, I'm doing this other thing. It's a, it's a different level and we're on the side, you know? Um, so to have it actually be, you know, to them to finally give you know, a strong woman the chance to like be on that same level was a big deal. Like it was a big deal for all of us being there. I mean, I do think that uh, like with Strawman, it could be anybody's contest on any day. Um, so I don't necessarily think that I'm like, that there's something that makes me better. But I think that if I do have an advantage or things that I have been able to use to my advantage, um, it's a lot of technicality. Um, I think having the relationship that I do with my training, that like I program all of my own training and plan for my own contests, um, helps me have a lot better understanding of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Don't, like, I'm getting really strong now, but I wasn't always that strong. I didn't start out that way. So I had to use, I had to use like the smart advantage. You know, I had to know all the tricks um, and all the ways to save time and to save energy um, to get ahead. So now that I'm getting strong and I have those, I have both. But yeah, we had a strongest woman in the world contest in August and it was a one-arm dumbbell press and I pressed with my right arm and at that competition I injured my shoulder, tore some pieces of my shoulder. So I couldn't press with the right arm, uh, I just kept working on my left side and then we found out that the press for Arnold was also a dumbbell so I said okay well I'm just gonna start training my left side and see if I can get it as strong as I need to on the other side. So I had four months to try and catch up. It, it sucks in almost every way, it's actually very unrewarding <laughs> on all accounts. Like, you have to be motivated by only like self-reward. Like that's that's the only thing we really get. Um, and you're not the first person to mention that. Everyone kind of it's kind of like an ongoing understanding in the community of strongman. That's and I think powerlifters feel similarly that like you got to be a little bit off, you know, or just a little bit, you know, into suffering because there's no way you can get through it all without you know without just hating it. Um, but yeah, almost everything I do is very painful. Like. I try not to get injured and I try not to work through injury. I try to be smart about training, but even, um, I mean, everything, everything in Strongman is an extreme, right? So you're not just lifting, you're lifting the most or you're lifting the longest or you're carrying the farthest or you're just pushing your body until it literally just collapses and you can't anymore. Like, everything's about maximum effort. Like even in events, like in competition, like when it sucks and when it is painful, like partly you recognize it you know how bad your body feels um, but you push past that either because you just want to win so bad that you know it doesn't matter um, or you get to this point at, like somewhere along the transition you get to this point that you realize that all the things you thought were painful that you couldn't do it's just like a trick you know like your body starts hurting long before you actually give up um, and once you learn that like that doesn't actually matter you just learn to ignore it um, strongman is a lot of moving pieces you know, and a lot of technical things and a lot of things can happen and you can have a really good day or a really bad day. Um, so just to have that day where everything came together and it happens to also be the biggest competition of my life and in, in strong women history, like that's a big deal. Um, and I, there will be more winners and I would love to say that I have a chance at doing it again. I don't know that, you know, it's, gonna, it's only gonna get harder from here, but to be the first one on the list sounds really cool, you know, because if this, it, it should grow and it's gonna become a thing just like the Arnold is now, like the Arnold for men is, it's the pinnacle of our sport, you know, and that's the thing that everyone looks to, that that's what, that's what they wanna be, you know, and there is, there's a list of all the Arnold, Arnold winners, you know, and so like just thinking about, okay, I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom of that list, I'm like I'm gonna be there forever. So that feels good.